How is it going everyone? As you can see from my reviews, I love these classic shoes and since you're here, I bet you do too. And today I get to relive a little bit of my 1985 with these puppies right here, the Nike Vandal Supreme. Now I grabbed these from a friend, thank you very much, because I had these in this OG colorway as a youth and having them back in hand, it's hard to pinpoint why I love them so much, why I'm nostalgic about them so much, but there is something kind of magical about them, wouldn't you say? Taking it back to 1985, I remember seeing them. They stood out in a sea of canvas suede and leather. That full nylon upper, the gold accents, that sexy sheen, and those ankle straps. Get these things on my feet now. Now this was peak b-boy and electro era, and the Vandal Supreme was like the sneaker manifestation of that. If you don't know what I mean, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a short mixtape that will give you an idea of what we listen to and maybe this shoe will make more sense. Context matters, right? Especially in this case. Now the original Vandal came out in 1984 and the Vandal Supreme came out in 1985 one year later with the first ever full nylon upper. Look at this beauty. Schlick. The ankle straps were borrowed from 1983's Air Force One, and it was a basketball release, but other popular Nike shoes released in 85 were the Terminator, the Dunk, and the Jordan 1, so that's a stacked lineup to go up against. Nike came correct with the colorways, and the other brands weren't doing that as much, and that was extremely smart on their part. We ate that up. Now the ones I have here are the 2017 release. I think they did a good job with the materials, the proportions, compared to the originals, with one exception, and that's the toe shape. As far as I recall, the OGs have a more tapered or slanted toe shape, and these seem a little more boxy. I could be wrong though, I've been wrong in the past, many times. I can't recall perfectly the interior lining of the OGs, but I think it's slightly different, but that's pretty minor. The nylon upper is as close as possible on a reissue, as is the synthetic swoosh and back Nike panel. The color, look, and feel of the materials are pretty spot on, I would say. As far as on foot, you're going to have basically no breathability to speak of. The ankle strap ends up getting annoying, so after a while you ditch it so you're not laced up and locked in. After that, you can rock a looser, more casual look that's less boot-like and easier to slip in and out of. There is no air, just standard era correct Nike cup sole that gave you lots of court feel, board feel, ground feel, whatever you want to call it. Now they run true to size, but these don't get reissued very often since their regular production ended in 1987. And I'm cool with that. If you want them, you can look hard and you can find them. So get out there and look for them, fools. Now the look is not something everybody's going to go for, but I'm going to go for them. And if you're trying to skate in these, just don't because the, the nylon will be toast in seconds. So they're worthless for that. But the regular canvas Vandal and the Vandal Supreme suede high or low would work. But you will need Doc Brown's DeLorean to grab those. You could swipe his orange Vandals he wore in the movie while you're at it too. For me. Snag them for me. Appreciate it, homie later.